happy people i'm back with another video and today um i am going to show you all how to do some nail art stamping i'm super excited for this um one of my subscribers a couple of premieres ago actually requested for me to do a dedicated video on how to do stamping so that is what this video will be and i hope that they find it helpful so first i am going to uh show you all some new polishes that i got from madam glam they sent me over a couple of new colors and so i just want to get those swatched out and then we'll get into some stamping these are the new colors that i got in from madam glam okay this is how they look here so let me go ahead and get them pulled out and swatched the first color i got here is called rocking it and i believe this is a reflective polish i can't remember but it is absolutely gorgeous take a look at this you guys wow this is really really beautiful so yeah that's gorgeous so we have that color i also got this is a rubber base coat and it's in thailand Ooh, so creamy it's a really pretty milky white color that's really nice i like that a lot and you all see that the consistency of the rubber base coats is just a little bit thicker than the um gel polishes but I love that. The next one I got here is Cheek to Cheek. Okay, this is a really pretty, kind of looks like a, a peachy color. Kind of coral peachy, really cute. The last one I got here is called Let It Snow. Yeah, this is a really pretty, it's like a, I don't know, it's such a unique color, there's so much going on with it. So it's a, looks like it's a black base or a dark blue base that has like these really, really fine hollow glitters or like a hollow shimmer to it. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched out for you guys really quick. Oh wow, okay. It's different, you guys. The shift to it is just nothing like I've ever seen before. It kind of looks like a galaxy polish, but I don't think it's magnetic. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. The next color is Rocking It. This is probably my favorite. I believe this is a reflective polish. OMG, look how pretty that is. Love it. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna cure that. Next, I have Cheek to Cheek. And this is that really pretty peachy color, kind of coral. And this one actually has the smell to it. It smells really good. It kind of reminds me of how the nail reserve polishes smell. Kind of smells like that the hubba bubba bubble gum I'll be telling you all about. Really nice, really pretty. So I'm gonna cure that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this rubber base coat in Thailand. How pretty is that? It's like the perfect milky white. Wow. And it self-levels beautifully. I love it. Yeah, that's quite nice. All right, so I'm going to uh, do the second coat off camera and I'll be right back. This is what all the colors are looking like swatched up. I'm gonna give you all a close of each color. This one here is Let It Snow. This is a really beautiful deep blue color that is a holographic uh, polish. It's really, really gorgeous, something unique. I've never actually seen anything like this before. I love the different shifts in it. Next color I have here is Rocking It and I believe this is a reflective polish. Yes, it is reflective. Oh my gosh, do you all see it? How gorgeous is this? I absolutely love it. The next color here is Thailand. So this is that rubber base coat. I do feel like it applied beautifully and it's just a nice soft milky white color. And the last one here is Cheek to Cheek, which is a really beautiful light peach color. Kind of leans a little bit on the coral side as well. This is what all the colors are looking like swashed out. So yeah, y'all, let's get into some stamping. So I have already um, prepped a couple of practice nails. Um, I did two coats of Thailand on th these three nails and then I did two coats of cheek to cheek on these two nails. And we're just gonna get into some stamping. I haven't added any top coat yet. So one of the first things that I like to do when I do my stamping is to apply a top coat to the nail first. Um, and I found that that allows for the image to release off the stamper a lot quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat to all the nails. Hey happy people, so as I'm applying top coat to all of the nails, I just wanna remind you all that I do have a discount code with Madam Glam for 30% off. I am going to go ahead and leave that code here on the screen as well as in the description box below. And also too, you guys, my Ain't She Cute Though shirts have officially been restocked. So now the Ain't She Cute Though text with the white is available. I'm going to leave that here on the screen as well as the Ain't She Cute Though Nail Lovers Edition in black. Um, it is now restocked. If you all 
Um, we're not able to snag your t-shirt at the launch. Um, they are back in stock. So you can head over to my website, um, ancientcuthrow.com to make your purchase. And I do have free shipping on all orders. Just make sure you use the code free ship at checkout. All right, let's get back into stamping. Okay, so I do have a couple items that I like to use when it comes to stamping. First off, some of my favorite stamping polishes of all time are these stamping polishes from Born Pretty. So um, I am going to leave these linked down in the description box below, but these I found to be really easy to transfer images when stamping. And then I also really like, um, I need to shake this up, I haven't used it in a while. But I also really like using these, um, this is a regular nail polish and I actually got this from Dollar Tree. And I also like using this for stamping and I'll show you guys how to use both. Um, to pick up images. These are a variety of different kind of stampers that you can use. Um, this one I like, but um, because I can't really see all that, well, I can see pretty good on this, is glitter. This one's a pretty good stamper, actually. I've used it in the past, and I think it's really good. But for you all to be able to really clearly see what I'm doing, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my jelly stamper from uh, Clear Jelly Stamper. And, um, I really like this one because it's really big and you can really clearly see what you're doing. Um, so that's that. And then I have my little scraping card here. So that's what I'm going to be using um, for today. I do like to use this here. I believe I got this from Shein. Maybe? I don't even remember where I got it from. But this as well as a lint, lint roller. So these two items help me get unwanted images from my jelly stamper. And then last but not least, the most important items is the actual um, stamping plates themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find some images here um, that might be cute and add them onto the nail. Um, I have some plates over here that I've actually used in the past. So I might start with some of these first and then we'll hop into some of the ones that I haven't used before. Um, I know I've used this one to make some pretty cool cheetah print nail art, so maybe I'll try to recreate that. Um, I'll leave a video here showing you all the um, showing you all the design I did with this plate, but I'll try to see if I can recreate that look really quick. So my nails are all cured. I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, one of these peachy nails, and I'm gonna try to do that cheetah print on it. One of the first things I like to do get a paper towel, and I like to fold it in half and put that underneath the um, stamping plate that I plan to use. And I like to do that just so that it can absorb all the ink. Next, I'll go in with my actual um, stamping polish. And so when you're stamping, you wanna make sure that you saturate the image that's on the plate. So I'm gonna go on here and just saturate. I wanna get this face and then these little cheetah print um, design here. So I'm gonna go ahead and saturate the plate with some polish here. And with stamping, you kind of got to move a little quick. Um, so I'm going to take my scraper here and I'm going to do one quick swipe down. And I'm going to clean off my stamper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the, the jelly stamper over the image. And you all see that that's a clean pickup, right? So then from there, I'll take my nail of choice and I'll go ahead and I'll place the image where I want it to be on the nail trying to keep it in, in focus so you all can see as I'm doing this. And so when you have it where you want it to be, you'll just roll it on and pull up and boom, you've stamped, you know? And it's, what's nice about stamping too is once you get the hang of it, you know, it's super easy to do. So I want to do a design where maybe I want the cheetah print to kind of come up the nail a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some acetone and wipe off my plate. This is another tool I like to use and I like to use this just to kind of grab this little, my little cotton round here just so I don't have to get my hands all messy. So I'll just kind of dab some acetone onto here and then I'll use it to just clean my plate like so. All right. So once my plate is clean, then I'll go through and I'll repeat that process again, right? So you wanna go through and you will saturate the image with the stamping polish. So I'm gonna saturate the image like so. And I actually should've just did it over the cheetah print, not over the whole image, but that's okay. You will take the scraper, you do one quick swipe down like so. Okay, and then you will take your jelly stamper here. You will roll it over the image like so. It's a clean pick. Then what you wanna do is if you have some unwanted images on the jelly stamper, right? You'll go ahead and use your lint-free roller to just remove the images that you don't want to transfer. And actually, I wasn't planning on picking up that face, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll and get that face off of the stamper as well, like so. So I just want the cheetah print, right? 
So now what I'm gonna do is on my actual nail itself, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up where I want it to be. So let's say I want the cheetah print to kind of come a little bit further up the nail, like right about here. I'll press it down, bring it up, and boom, you have the whole image. So I love stamping. I hope this is helpful. Um, and if you ever get, um, let's say you, you have like a part of the image that you didn't want to be on the nail, one way to clean it up is just use some acetone. So I'll take a brush that has a little bit of acetone. Oh. So yeah, I'll take a brush that has a little bit of acetone on it and then I'll just take it over the image that I didn't want to be on the nail, like so. And if you wanted to get even more creative with it, you can go in and maybe like fill in those cheetah dots if you wanted to, but that's a really quick, simple, easy design here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. Maybe it'd be kind of cool to pick up this image right here. I've never used that before. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try to pick up this um, what is this, a lion? Tiger? No, lion. I'm going to try to pick this lion up here. So again, you'll want to take the stamping polish here, okay, and you'll just saturate the whole image, like so. Oh, that might be too much polish. Oh, man. There you guys, I think that's too much polish. So I'm just taking some and just kind of putting it back <laughs> in the bottle because that was too saturated, okay? And so, same method though, you'll go ahead and take the scraper, do one quick swipe down, like so, and then you'll roll the jelly stamper over the image, so you'll roll it, pick it up, boom, clean pick, okay, that looks nice. And then, because I don't want this snake skin to be on the nail, I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off of the jelly stamper, like so, okay. And then from there, I'm gonna take one of the white nails because I think this will look really great on a white background, okay? Again, you wanna just line it up exactly where you want it to be on the nail, and then you'll press down. So like so, press down. Beautiful, look at that. So that's nail number two. That's very intricate and detailed there. Now if you wanted to, you can go in and kinda of color that in, but that's just the second image here. Okay. And let's move on to a different plate, you guys. And again, whenever you wanna clean your plates off, you'll just take um, a cotton pad with some acetone and you'll just clean it off like so. Okay, and then it's all good for the next next use. So let's play around with some kitty cats, okay? I'm actually, I'm gonna create a design. Now, this time with the stamping, I wanna use these uh, regular nail polishes that I got from um, Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go in first with the black. I wanna create this image on the nail, but I want the leaves to be green and the actual cat to be black. So I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna do this, right? So I'm gonna go in with this polish, and I'm just gonna saturate the cat by itself, right? And I'm gonna go in with a generous amount, just like I did the, the stamping polish. Cover the image. All right, and then I'll take my stamping, my scraper, one quick swipe down. And then from there, I have to clean this off. You'll go ahead and roll over the image to pick it up. So you do a quick roll. Okay, so that one did not transfer good at all. I don't know if you all can see that. So I'm gonna have to do that one over, okay? Maybe I had too much polish. I'm going to take that off and clean off my plate, like so. And whenever you mess up on an image, you just try again. So again, I'm going to go in with my polish here and just saturate the image, okay? After the image has been saturated, you will take the scraper and you do one quick swipe down, one quick swipe down, and then I'll go ahead and roll the stamper over the image. Hmm, it's not picking up you guys. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So for some reason my regular polish isn't working. It worked when I did this before. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong this time around. Hmm. Let me try shaking up my, my polish because it was sitting for a while. Okay, so I'm gonna try that one more time. Okay, so again, you wanna saturate the image. Quick swipe down, roll to pick up. Um, still not 
pick it up the way I want it to. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and just transfer that over just so you guys can see it. But it didn't pick up the ears on the cat. But I'm going to go ahead and still just transfer it over just to see what we got going on here. So, I am going to go ahead and stamp this on the white background. So, let's say, let's say I want the cat down here at the bottom, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and place it exactly where I want it to be on the nail. Roll it and press down. So, I mean, it does work. You guys just got to play around with picking it up a couple of times. Um, I think because I had too much polish on there. And honestly, the gaps that's in there, it kind of makes it look like the ear is actually already filled in. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave that like it is. And then now I'm going to use the green to pick up the rest of the image. To do that, again, you want to go ahead and clean off your plate with some acetone. Wipe that off. Okay. And this time I'm going to go in with my green color. Okay. Give it a good shake. And then you want to just saturate the image like so. Okay, that's good. And again, with this, the scraper, you'll do one quick swipe down like so. You'll take your jelly stamper, roll to pick up. Boom, clean pickup. That's really nice. I don't know if you all can see that. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take off what I don't want. So I don't want this part on it. And I don't want my kitty cat on there. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So then now what I want to do is I want to do the rest of this branch here. So again, you just want to place it where you want it to be on the nail. I want it to kind of be like right here. And then you set it down, and that's the little branches. Yay! I wish I had to took this black part off before I did it, but yeah, you all kind of get the idea of it, right? So, yeah, that looks cute. And then, what else do we want to do? Maybe we can say the cat is listening to some music, so I'm going to go ahead and put some music notes on here. And I'll make the music notes... I guess I'll make them black. So... Again, I'll go ahead and just saturate the image here, like so. Do one quick scrape down, like so. You'll take the jelly stamper, make sure it's clean, and then you'll roll to pick up. So you do one quick roll, pick up the image, like so. Okay. And then again, you'll want to just go ahead and place it on the nail where you want it to be. Let's say like this. Perfect. So this is a nail completely stamped with regular polish. So that's what that looks like. Now let's move on to another plate, you guys. So yeah, I have this plate here and I thought it'd be kind of cool to put this butterfly here on the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and peel back the backing on this one. This is so satisfying to me. I don't know why. Nothing like a fresh stamping plate. Someone did advise me that when going in with a new stamping plate, it's better to wipe it with acetone first to make sure that the image picks up well. So I'm going to actually go ahead and follow that advice because um, I feel like last time I was trying to pick an image up on a new plate and it didn't work so well. So let's just rub this down real quick with some acetone. And it's good to go. So... I am first going to start off with trying to get this butterfly right here. And I do have a new color, you guys. I've actually, this color here I've never used before, at least this in this bottle. So I'm going to saturate the butterfly like so. I'm going to take my scraper and swipe straight down like so. And then I'm going to use my jelly stamper, pick up the image. And then what I don't want, so this is how the image picked up. And then what I don't want, I will go ahead and just take off of the stamper with this. I've also been told too that you can use this, like the scraper, Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, it does. To take it off too. So that's another option if you all don't have a lint roller. But I, I think I personally prefer the lint roller though because um, I just feel like I can get more precise with what I'm picking up. 
Alrighty. So you see here I have my butterfly. So I am gonna go ahead and put that on a white nail. And maybe we'll put a couple of different butterflies on here. So there we go, we'll just set it down just like that. And how cute is that? I'm gonna go in and do that one more time. So again, after you clean the plate with acetone, you would just wanna wipe. I mean, you'll just wanna um, saturate the image like so. And then you'll take your scraper, swipe straight down, quick swipe. You'll take your jelly stamper, roll to pick up like so. It's another clean pick. And then what you want to do is you'll use a you'll use your lint roller to remove any of the items that you don't want on there, like so. Perfect. From there, you'll go ahead and line it up with where you want the image to be. So I hope you guys can see this. Okay, yeah, so I want the butterfly to be right here on the side. Press down, pick up, perfect stamp. And then I'll do that one more time just for demonstration purposes. So again, you'll clean your plate with some acetone. Then you will take your polish of choice, saturate the image like so. All right. Do a quick swipe down at a 45 degree angle like so. Roll the stamper over the image. It's a clean pick, all right? And then you just remove the items that you don't want to transfer onto the nail like so. And it's ready to go. You would just line it up with where you want it to be on the nail. So I want it to be, let's say like right here. And boom, that's, you have it, you have your butterfly nail. So that one turned out really good. Now I just wanna figure out what I want to do with this nail here. I'm gonna go on with white on that nail and I think I wanna lay down this like rose looking image here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my white, right? And I am going to saturate that entire image here. Okay, so I'm gonna go just like this. Okay. And then you'll take scraper, quick swipe down, like so. And then you'll use your jelly stamper, roll pick up. Nicely done, you see that? It picked up everything. Take your lint roller, remove what you don't want to transfer. I think I picked up some of the paper towel here. Okay, and then this part right here, we'll take that off. You'll take your nail, line the image up exactly where you want it to be, and then go press straight down and up. So straight down and up. And yeah, that's beautiful lovely transfer you guys see this beautiful so yeah you guys that is my tutorial for today i hope it's been helpful again whenever i'm getting ready to store my um stamping plates all i do is i give them a quick wipe down with uh acetone Oops. like so and that's just to clean the plate off and now it's all ready for the next use you know so that's how i clean the plates then I also, I'll clean my stamper with some acetone too, just to get that off of there. All right, discard all of this. And to clear my actual uh, jelly stamper for storage, I'll just roll it onto here. Make sure all the images are off. And then when I store it, I'll just put it right back in here. And then I make sure to store my scraper with it as well. I actually got this storage hack from um, Just Nikki. So shout out to you, Just Nikki. Thank you so much for that hack because it's been lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. This isn't any particular design at all. This is just some nail art practice to show you guys how to do nail art with stamping. When you're done with all of your nail art, you'll wanna just go in 
and seal your design in with a, a top coat. Yeah, you guys, let's say it with me. Ain't she cute though? Yes, so let me know which design is your absolute favorite. For me, I really like, I actually really like this nail. It looks like a beautiful lace nail. And y'all know that cheetah print calling my name. Um, and I like the butterfly. I, I like them all actually. I was really impressed with how this one transferred. It transferred flawlessly. So, so I hope these uh, tips and tricks were really helpful with stamping. Um, I absolutely love stamping. I don't do it nearly as much as I should, but it's a really quick way to get some really nice nail art, especially those who have a difficult time with freehand drawing. Um, this is a great method for that. So yeah, you guys, um, I'm thinking next week I might try to do some DIY nail charms. I know I made a video of that a few weeks ago. I'm sorry, a few months ago and you all wanted to see a part two. And I still have this acrylic that I sp uh, spilled from when I did my um, not polish acrylic overlay video. So I'm thinking next week I might go ahead and make some nail charms. Let me know if you guys want to see that down in the description box below. But yeah y'all, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day.